Hi, it's Michelle from Honest and Truly, and I've spent the last five days at Blissom in Dallas. I'm following the Shackley plan, which means two Shackley meals a day and one sensible meal a day, and I'm on vacation. How do you do both? I've got some tips for you about how you can stay on your diet while you're on vacation and still have fun. So number one, the most important thing to remember is vacations and the rest of life are not about being perfect. You're never going to be perfect, so allow yourself a little bit of leeway. Don't figure that you're going to lose maybe as much as you would while you're on vacation, but don't blow it and just go hog wild with everything. There's a balance. You can do it. Number two, you also want to say that maybe you're going to get a little bit more exercise or a little different exercise than you do when you're at home, and you want to make sure that you're going to be okay with maybe increasing your calorie allotment a little bit because you're doing so much walking or you're doing fitness classes while you're there and that's okay. Again, just don't say, well, I walked three miles today, therefore I can have a ginormous hot fudge sundae with breakfast and everything else like that. Doesn't work that way. So, what else do I have to tell you? Number one, breakfast is not the most interesting meal of the day. Don't go out to eat. Don't waste your money and don't waste your calories there. Instead, find something that works for you that you can bring from home and for me that means that I'm having a Shackley bar for breakfast. It's keeping me full and going until lunchtime and it's doing exactly what I need to stay as part of my plan. When I get to lunch, maybe I'll have lunch with friends, maybe I'll have another Shackley meal. So there's two different ways I've done this. In fact, I kind of combined it. One day I went to lunch with friends and I brought my Shackley bar. I sat there and I ate my Shackley bar, I talked with my friends, I had fun with them, and they ate their meals. Did the restaurant care? Absolutely not! And I stayed with my plan. The other way I did it was I had a meal, and I'm in Texas, hello barbecue, and I want to enjoy it. So I ordered, instead of a barbecue beef brisket sandwich, which is a whole lot of calories, I did a pulled pork baked potato. Hmm, It's actually kind of relatively healthy. I got rid of the butter and the sour cream, which saved me a ton of calories and a ton of fat that I don't need when there's so much other flavor, and I had a baked potato, a little bit of shredded cheese, some scallions, and then pulled pork. It's a whole lot of flavor, it was super satisfying, and it meant that I'm not craving stuff later in the day because I ate something satisfying, but I made a smart choice when I did it. And it's finding that balance that you can do too. So how about you? How do you stay on track for the day so that when you've had your lunch, you're not doing something crazy for dinner, or when you've had your plan, you're making sure that you're not so hungry and feeling like you're so deprived that by the time you get to dinner, you've got to have it no matter what it is. For me, that means I'm allowing myself to have something a little bit different than I normally would at home, and I'm going to enjoy it. I'm going to spend time with friends, but I want to make sure that I'm cognizant of the choices I'm making. So let me know what you do, and go ahead. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. I've got a lot more to say.